Welcome back to Airborne Productions. Last time you saw us turn this log splitter into a forge press. And today we're going to upgrade it by adding a little foot pedal and uh, making this not hand operated. Right now you need two hands to operate it. You need one hand on the electric switch and one hand on the hydraulic lever. Well, you can't really forge with your hands if your hands are pushing buttons. So we're going to make our foot push the button, that little foot pedal. And we're gonna make some damn masks. Okay, we just finished up relocating that switch and adding that foot lever. So the top works exactly the same. The way you actuated those differently though. You started with this foot pedal using this little door hinge welded to this base. Have a little bit of linkage going up here, just an old piece of rebar with some washers on the end of it to grab this hydraulic lever. You step on the pedal, it'll grab that hydraulic letter, lever. Then we have the button pushed on the end of this handle. So when you step on that uh, foot switch. <laughs> so the last time you saw us, you saw the catastrophic failure that was our original button. So we replaced that with a much stronger button works great same way also we noticed that this piece of rod right here was bending quite a bit which was sending this whole entire piece up these weren't matching up we're getting this crazy bending motion we still have a little bit of bend but this flat stock that we welded on down here works to reinforce it really well we welded one on each side so when you do operate this there's still a little bit of bending I mean, it's a log splitter for crying out loud. We've really beefed this thing up quite a bit. It'll work great for the Damascus that we're gonna forge, and any other simple forge wells or just drying out material, whatever. It'll work great. But we see why people use real 24 ton heavy ass presses. It makes a difference. So after an afternoon of forging, we ran this thing through the paces and it actually performed quite well. Uh, we started with this, a little bit of a 1084 and 15 and 20. We turned it into this. So we're at about eight layers stretched out. We're gonna restack it, but I'm not gonna tell you anything else because that's for another video. Uh, but to sum this thing up, the little bit of upgrades that we did to it, like, uh, the strengthening here, the button and the throttle pedal, um, the replaceable dies. I mean, all these little things make this actually pretty effective. Um, if you're a small at home knife maker and you want to move some metal a lot easier than just swinging a hammer all day, this is definitely a great idea. Now, if you're doing some huge billets of Damascus, yeah, this little press probably won't do it for you, but we're into it 200 bucks and so far it's worked great. So thanks for watching and catch us on the next one where we turn this billet into a full-blown knife. Booyah!